I know. I know. To me. To me. You. You. Sakshat. Sakshat. Directly. Directly. Prihaspati. The learned priest of the demigods. Name Prihaspati. Shastra Vakya. Shastra Vakya. Explanation of the scriptures. Explanation of scriptures. Karite. To do. Ache. Such. Such. Karo. Of anyone else. Of anyone else. Nahi. Nahi. There is not. There is not. Shakti. Shakti. How? How? Translation. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, My dear Bhattacharya, you are exactly like Brihaspati, the priest of the heavenly kingdom. Indeed, no one within this world has the power to explain the scriptures in such a way. Text 192. My dear Bhattacharya, you have certainly explained this verse by the prowess of your vast learning. But you should know that, besides this scholarly explanation, there is another purport to this verse. Bhattacharyara Pratanate Prabhu Bhakya Kaila Tandanava Artha Madhya Ekana Chunila Upon the request of Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to explain the verse without touching upon the nine explanations given by the Bhattacharya. Atma Ramas Chashloke Eka Dhasha Parahoya Pritak Pritak Koila Padera Artha Nishchaya Translation There are 11 words in the Atma Ram verse, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained each word one after the other. Purport The words in the Atma Ram verse are Atma Ramaha Cha Mulayaha Nirgrantaha Api Ukra Urukrame, Kurvanti, Ahoitakim, Bhaktim, Itam Bhuta Aguna, and Hari. Text 195. Tat Tat Pade Pradhanya Atmara Mamilana Astadasha Artha Kailo Abhi Prayalana. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took each word specifically and combined it with the word Atmarama. He thus explained the word Atmarama in 18 different ways. Text 196. Bhagavan Tanra Shakti Tanra Gunagana Achinta Prabhava Tinirana Yaya Katana. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, The Supreme Person of Godhead, His different potencies and His transcendental qualities all have inconceivable powers. It is not possible to explain them fully. Yeah, I know it says 191, I'm pretty sure it was 196. Yeah. Vandeham Shigaru Shita Padakanam Shigaru Vaishnam Sha Shirupam Sahagatam Sahagana Ratana Pandatam Samsiji Sadvaitam Sahagatam Pandatana Sahitam Krishna Kaitan Deva Shirada Krishna Padam Sahagana Ramita Shirisa Kamputam Sha Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha ताप्तकंचनकोरंगीराधेतिंदाभिनिश्री <laughs> Jai Shri Krishna Jai Krishna Prabhu Nityananda Jai Kai Kata Shri Sari Dora Bhattarana Jai Shri Krishna Jai Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna
like seek the blessings of the devotees present, so I can speak something appropriate. So we see um, here Sarvabhama Bhattacharya and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are discussing a particular verse. It's a famous verse that is um, based in the Bhagavad the Atma Rama's verse. It's a very significant verse in many ways, and um, here we see Lord Chaitanya is explaining it in many ways. Atma Rama's Chamaraya, Nirikrante Apriyura Krame, Kuravanti Ahaitikim Bhaktim, Itam Bhuta Gunahari. So explain that the Atma Rama's, uh, Atma means the self or the soul, and Rama's means pleasure. So those that um, achieve pleasure within, but those that are self-realized or self-satisfied, those that are liberated, the munis, um, there are also one other quality that they have is that they're negrante, which means they're completely free from material bondage or attraction. So it's described that even those souls, kurvanti uh, ahoitikim bhaktim, that even those souls are attracted to the loving devotional service of the Lord. Itam Buddha Gunahari. Why? Because Krishna is all attractive. So this verse is very significant in many ways. One way is that it proves that Krishna's form, Krishna's nature, is beyond material. It's not mundane, it's some impersonalist and my body is implied. Because we see that even those that are liberated, those that are free from the bondage of this material world, they're attracted to Krishna. But they have no attraction for the material. So by this logic we can understand that Krishna's form is transcendental. The other feature of this verse is that we understand that Krishna is all attractive. Like we translate the word Krishna and it means all attractive. So how is Krishna all attractive? Well, Krishna is even attractive to the liberated souls. So from this perspective we understand that this verse is very special. And uh, it's described here in this section that Sarvabhama Bhattacharya he uh, requests Lord Chaitanya to elaborate on this verse. But Lord Chaitanya says, no, first you uh, explain this verse. So he explains it, I think it says in nine different ways, or was it eight? Nine. Nine, nine different ways, yeah. Yeah, nine different ways. But he doesn't touch on the real meaning. And now Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, he's a logician, he's a scholar. And then he hears Lord Chaitanya interpret this verse. And he interprets it in how many ways? 18 ways. And he's actually stunned by his explanation as you'll hear as the verses go on. He's uh, amazed by his interpretation. And then he surrenders to Lord Chaitanya. Now, this verse is also explained to another personality later in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Anyone know which personality? Is it Ramana the Right? It's not Ramana the Right, but Ramana the Right. Sanatana was fine. And he explains the same verse, I don't know how many ways? 60. 60. 64. 64. 61. 61 ways he explains this verse. Sanatana Swami had heard that um, Lord Chaitanya had spoken and interpreted this, this verse in many ways to some of them, so he requests him to also explain this on verse. And he explains it that in this case, um, 61 times. Prabhupada states actually in the, uh, in the teachings of Lord Chaitanya that by Lord Chaitanya explaining this verse in many different ways, he's showing how Krishna is attractive in unlimited ways. Um, in this section, also later, what we see is that um, Lord Chaitanya gives two examples of personalities that um, illustrate the meaning of this verse. That in their lives, they show how this verse comes alive. Anyone know the two sets? Of, well, yeah, two examples he gives. You mean the people that were attracted? Yeah, liberated souls that were attracted. The four Kumaras and, and Sukadev Goswami. 